Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. All right, uh, or night, depending on where you are. Good afternoon, good day. Uh, so now this video is to cover a, uh, there's a, there's a, uh, a clog problem with the Bissell 2X. Now in Australia, uh, I believe it's the Wertheim SE9500 series. So uh, I'm actually making a video to respond to a comment uh, left by a really, real nice and and, uh, and charming uh, lady, uh, Maureen, and uh, hopefully you're watching this video. And uh, so let me let me do my best, okay? Because I, I I figured this is best to do the video rather than just type it out and explain this. All right, so. It's funny. I've never really covered the, this this particular style uh, uh, problem like this. Uh, normally, when there's a suction issue, it's normally with the nozzle in the front. This particular suction issue is due to kind of clog and gunk inside the hose. And like, well, then how are you gonna clear this out? Okay, what's the, probably the best way? Well, here's here's a couple of ways you can try. All right. Now, this is what I'm gonna do. First, I'm gonna explain my way through this. And then uh, I'm going to kind of take this unit apart. So if you want to hang around to go down the rabbit hole with me uh, to, to take this apart, you can. But I should be able to 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 uh, um, effectively explain what to do uh, first. Okay, so here we go. All right. So what do you do when you have, let's say, especially if the person had pet pets and pet hair kind of get caught up in this section here? You see now. So the Wertheim is like the 2X. Looks like the same design when you looked it up. I believe it or not, I've never even heard of that unit. I've never heard of the name. And uh, so I'm glad I was, I was exposed to it. I did a little bit of research to, to see what it's like. So th this is what the hose would look like, right? Okay. Um, and so, so what do you do? You know, how do you, how do you, how do you go about uh, unclogging this thing? All right. So let's, let's check it out. This is what I would try to do. First, you wanna make sure that the suction is not a main suction issue. So the best way to do that is turn your machine on and put your hand, now I already have this like partially uh, uh, taken apart. Uh, take a look. I was working on uh, some pump issues on this particular unit, so I was already inside. Uh, so it just worked out. But uh, what you would do is turn the machine on and put your hand over the the port, okay, where the suction is. So you're feeling good, strong suction. Okay, that's, you could try that. Uh, now, if you notice, this section right here, this little open, there's an opening right here. And so when, when, the, when, when the, the, the unit is in an upright position, it now connects to the main suction, okay? So now the suction is being diverted away from the front to the, the 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 hose so because you have an open in port here what you can do you can get a regular vacuum cleaner okay it's a regular vacuum hose and turn on your vacuum hose test the suction on your vacuum hose put it here or put it here inside the um inside the port here okay you can see it all right and then feel to see if the suck the suction is still strong Okay, all right. And uh, just in case, let's say like you have an opening here. See that opening suction may escape. So you could probably take that off. Okay, and, and see, if you can, see if you can get good suction here. Now, if the suction is here, solid, okay, then you know that something else is happening. But if you're not getting suction, you test your holes, you have good suction, you put it here, you don't have good suction, something is going on. All right, um, you know what? Let's see if we can test that out, okay? Let's test it out real quick. Uh, all right, I'm gonna pause a second so I can get some tape, all right? And then I'll be right back, all right? I'm gonna pause for a second. I'm back. All right, so now this is what we're gonna do, okay? Take a look. So I'm just gonna take this up. I, I'm, this is some electrical tape. All right, and I just wanna make sure I seal off any possibility of suction escaping through that little opening port right there, okay? All right, here we go. Now, I'm gonna turn on the, the shop back here. 
okay? All right, now I can use, I can use something like this. Give me an idea that the suction is doing its job, right? Then what you can do is we can either go from the bottom, right? Go to the bottom. See if I can get. It may not be perfect, but let's see what we got. See that? That showed me that the suction was able to travel through the hose and to here. See that? Was that a cool little test? All right, now, that's just to test the suction. Let's say now, now that we test it, it's like it's not working, something is wrong. Either check for cracks, make sure that there are no cracks in your hose, all right? And then if you figured out that there, there are no cracks in the hose and you can literally physically see gunk inside your your tubing, well, now, what do you do now? I recommend, okay, getting a hose, an outdoor hose, okay? Um, you would have to do your best to uh, maybe cover this motor section of the unit, maybe with a plastic bag, okay? And get a garden hose, okay? And you know, you may have to step back some a little bit and flush water through this, through here. Okay, and give it some time. First, maybe you start like like uh, start low, so it's just kind of get and kind of loosen up. The water will kind of loosen up the dried um, the pet hair, carpet fibers, or whatever it is, the dried stuff. Let it loosen up. Let it kind of get gooey. All right, and then when you when you think it's already done, get uh, now you kind of strengthen it a little bit and just kind of. Push it through. Now let me let me check something for you guys. Uh, let me see if you can do this. I haven't opened up one of these in a long time. All right. Let's 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 check. Let's check together. Let me see something. Oh. Careful not to lose your screws. Ugh. Let's check this together real quick while we're, while while we're here. Okay. All right. Watch this. I want to. What I'm checking for. I want to see how easy it is for you. No, it's not. No, it's not. Uh, because you know what you would have to do? You can, but you risk damaging these tabs. Okay? See these little tabs right here? One and two. Okay? Um, you, if you put pressure on this tab, you should be able to kind of pry this off. Okay? And what would happen is you would end up... Let me take this off here. You would end up separating what you do is you, you separate you'll separate this hose you probably don't even need to mess with this part you separate this from here okay you get like a flathead screwdriver and uh, just kind of pry it okay off try not to pull it because sometimes these things are brittle and they'll just break it may break right here you don't want that so get like a flathead or something and kind of pry it off that will now loosen this hose so when you do separate this, if you do, if you do it this way, because I've done it before, and, and you know, be careful with it, because you don't want it to where now it can't, when it's time to put it back together, you, it can't stay, okay? So pop that off. Now you just have an open, like now you just have a, a, a straight, um, an open thing. You don't have to worry about this little half space right here, all right? And then you put the hose right there and flush it all the way out. Okay, so that's my next uh, thing for you. Now, if you don't want to do it that way, because you don't want to risk your um, the machine, like water getting too much on your machine. Okay, and remember, you you put in a plastic bag. The next step will be to take this whole thing apart. Okay, and then literally separate the hose, and then do that kind of separate. You know, take the hose itself, leave the machine in the house, take the hose itself outside, flush the hose out, put it, bring it back, and put it, reinstall it in the machine. And that's the part of the rabbit hole thing. I said, if you want to hang around, we can do that. Um, so let me show you what I what I have to do. It's 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 not the most fun project in the world <laughs> to to do, but sometimes you may have to change this hose. I've seen. 
some of these holes they get cracked and you, you go and you buy a hose online and it's like what do I do how do I how do I change this again it's not that hard it's just that uh, it's a pain in the butt okay that's all that's to be the, the truth of it all right so um, all right if you're gonna hang around let's do it <laughs> all right but if you if you if you got the gist of it you probably this is all you need out of the video okay um, so let me uh, quickly uh, just start taking this stuff apart really what you're really doing is you're, you're gonna separate this top from the bottom and then we're gonna separate the red from the black and that's really all it is okay and there's a couple of screws there's one two okay um, but you also have to get behind here okay so let me let me see this you see this let me get this from here all right, here we go. You see this right here? It's a little tab that you kind of push down so you can pop this out, okay? And and you you lift it up, okay? Let me see what we got here. See that? And you lift up, up, okay? All right, good. So now we have, and it has two arrows here, so you take out this screw and this screw and this screw. There's one, two, and three. So let's go in and take these off. One, two, three, all right? Get this out. And if you, I think if you remember when you got the first got the machine, you had to put it together this way anyway. You had to um, put these screws in because it, it comes, I believe, it comes with the handles separated. You don't get the whole unit in one place and in, in one piece anyway. Okay, let's get this out. I may just end up speeding this up because really, it's just taking the screws out. Okay, there's no no magic trick here. Okay. Come on, buddy. Let's get you off. Okay. We got one, two, three, four. Let's go get them. Okay, let me turn them around. All right, so look what we're dealing with here. Okay. See that? Okay. So now the hose, this little section right here is where your hose is. So there are two screws holding this in, okay? So we're going to take those two screws out. One, two, then there's a screw in the back. Let's see if you can see it. Right there. Let's get that guy out of here. It's a little one too, so be careful you don't lose that. Okay, now you're also gonna have a, um, I'm doing it by myself today, so I don't have a thing. Uh, now this main uh, tubing that we showed you here, okay, this tubing is connected to the other tubing down here. So let me show you. Okay, let me, let me see if you can, See it. So this is this is a connector. This is a plastic connector. The hose is going to be right there, and there's a tubing. You can't really see it, but use a, um, some um, a needle nose pliers or something like that to separate that tubing so you can get that out of there. So let me let me do that. I may be able to do it with some finger action. Yeah, I was able to do it with finger action. All right. But use need nose pliers. All right, so now uh, I recommend the same thing. Get a flathead screwdriver. Uh, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get a flathead screwdriver to pry off the uh, 
and you kind of pull it a little bit while you're prying it off. There we go, come on. Come on, buddy. There we go, beautiful. All right, let's see what we have. Now I'm gonna twist it. It has a uh, turner. I, what I'll do is I'm gonna twist it off and then I'll show you what happened, okay? We take, we took the thing out? Okay, great, let's twist it. Come on, buddy. It's not really hard to get. Here we go. All right. Okay. So now you're gonna have to pull the, the tubing out of this thing here. Let me show you up close. Okay, so you see the plastic piece? The tubing slides right in back. When, the, when it's time to put it back together, the tubing slides right in there. See that little spot? There's a hole on the inside. I think you can see it there. Uh, yep, something like that. You can see the little light shining through and you just put the tubing right back through there when it's time to do it. Let me see if I can get that. Maybe a little pain in the butt to get it in, but you gotta be just patient. Here we go. Some. I'll show you how to get this thing back in there. Yeah, it's gonna be a pain in the butt for you. Just patience. It's like needle. It's like uh, putting needle in a in a thread. A uh, thread it. <laughs> putting a thread in a needle. <laughs> Put a new look, right? All right, <laughs> all right. So, ah, there you go, there you go. Okay, so I just got it back in there, and you can get your little needle nose pliers and kind of pull it through. Okay, but that's see that little that little head right there, and then you pull it all the way through. Now, if you don't want to take it all the way out because it's a pain in the butt, let me get my needle nose pliers. Oh my gosh, I, you would think I have everything for you guys. I think I would make come to this video prepared. You know, that's what you get when you're not doing any scripts. Okay, now look. See? You notice you have a wide opening right there, okay? You can take this outside, okay? And just pump it full of water and flush this hose out and you got yourself a nice flushed out hose. You get all the dog hair out of this thing. It's just that now you're gonna have to put it back together. Okay? I recommend taking pictures along the way if you're not used to messing with things and remembering where they go. But other than that, that's pretty much it, guys. All right? Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to And also be careful about that tube, okay? Let's not get it lost. So what I, I recommend get a clothespin or something um, or a, a vice grip thing so you can hold it so it doesn't just drop into the tube. It will drop about to right here and then you have to find a way to pull it back out. So, um, and also that little twist I was telling you about, you see that right there, okay? Uh, here's a little uh, little tab, where is it at? You see that tab? And then it's really just uh, put it on and twist to lock it, okay? So remember that, all right? So here we go, let's put this thing back where it belongs, I hope. Hope you I gotta get a box to put this on so you can see this is not good. Uh, this position in here. Hold on. This is not a good position right here because you can hardly see what I'm doing. All right, I'm gonna put it on there and then I'm gonna lift this whole thing on top of the table. Eh, a little better. All right, a little better. Yep, definitely better. All right, here we go. All right, so we're gonna put this back, okay? Uh, the L shape, well, it's like an S shape, right? But this is facing uh, the cord section of the unit. So you kind of slide it right in there and you can see where the, the two screws would go, okay? And I did it again. I dropped my, uh, I dropped my, uh, my thing, here we go. Okay, now watch. I'm gonna rest it right here for a second and I'm gonna have to now fit it in here through this, okay? I'm gonna have to use it. So that's why you can decide to do this or not where 
you probably could have done the same thing without having to do this, or you can go all the way if it's really, really bad. And that first suggestion I gave you didn't work, all right? So let me needle nose this thing through again, and then uh, we're gonna just lock everything up. Now, uh, we'll probably do a different video about changing the solenoids and all that stuff, because if you notice, this unit has four solenoids that, um, that move the water through the system. And sometimes these things need replacing. And by the looks of it, I'm looking at this uh, this thing, and this this one is pretty old. The solenoids are, are blue. And when you have a unit with blue and beige solenoids, uh, most likely they're, they're, they're the older ones, the newer ones are black. Okay? Let me get this thing. It's been a little... Pulling it through. Come on, baby. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Be nice. Be nice. So let's pull you out. Get the needle nose. Ah, beautiful. Ah, baby. All right. So this guy is through. Let's connect him while we're at it, okay? I'm going to put the uh, little clamps, okay? See that? Okay. And put the clamps on there. Put this back. Okay. All right. So let me let me lift this up so you can see what's happening. All right. It's hard to see though, but so I'm gonna fit this in the in the right back where where it belongs in the section. Okay, this is here. Then I'm gonna get my screws. Okay, and I'm gonna put the screws back where they go. Okay. So let me lie this back down so the screws don't fall all over the place. So the screws are in, one and two. So now I still have to put this and make a twist. So I'm gonna put this on here, okay? And then twist. Okay, so that's locked in. Then there's that tiny screw in the back, okay? That we're gonna put in to, to keep it from uh, twisting out. So we're gonna put that screw back. Okay, so the screw's back. All right, let's get our cord back in place. Okay, and then we're gonna get our top, put our top back on. Okay. Not difficult at all. It's just like I said, it's a little pain in the butt. I really, you know, this is probably the, the machine that I least look forward to, man. When this comes in the shop, I already, I'm like, ah. <laughs> you know, you do it, you know, you gotta do it, right? <laughs> but this is, this is that machine that he knows, you know, we have a history. We have a history, man. Uh, this guy here was the first, when I first opened my shop, right? I had, um, oh gosh, all right, I might have to lie him down. When I first opened the shop, I, I only, I think I only did Kirby, Kirby machines at the time. And a gentleman bought in a Hoover, right? So I was like, yeah, you know, yeah, I'll do it, man. Now let me not turn away business, right? And then, these started coming in. Oh, God. 
What an experience that was. You know how many times I had to put this together, take it apart, put it together, take it apart to, to, to make sure it was working properly. Um, it drove me nuts. Uh, changing the pumps, changing, um, cleaning out the heaters. Uh, I recommend people not using the heater at all on these machines. Uh, just, uh, just leave the heater off and shampoo without the heater. Uh, if you do use the heater, you want to make sure that you flush it, you know, afterwards. Get the gook out of the heater, okay? Because that heater will, um, will uh, uh, kind of uh, bake the solution inside the heater after you finish shampooing. So think about it. You just you shampoo, you put it to the side, and the heater is still hot. It's probably going to be hot for another 20 minutes or so, right? So it's just baking the stuff in there. After a while, it gets so gummy and hard. When it's time to pump, there's too much hard debris in the tubing and in the heater for it to pump. Okay? So that's why I just say, ah, leave the heater. Don't touch it. Okay? Um, but, you know, Bissell has made uh, improvements on their design since then. And uh, I think now they have something that they use called a... Um, it's a, uh, uh, it's like like hot air, you know, um, you know, that's the thing. But hey, but that's it, guys. Uh, I'm gonna put the rest of this back together again, and you know, really, all it is is putting all the screws in and and um, and putting, you know, putting this bad boy on, you know, that's really all that's left. Just slide this on, you know. Slide this guy on, put these screws back in, and then you're back. You just, either you just finished changing your hose, or you cleaned your hose out. Hopefully this video helped you. Hopefully I wasn't bumbling all over the place, uh, trying to do this, and uh, my station is normally in the back that I do all these things. This is like the, the service counter. So it's, you know, it's not the most ideal place to do this, but you know, you get the gist. Okay, until next time, Stay positive, and thanks for all the feedback. Thanks for, for subscribing. Thanks for sharing the videos, and until next time, okay? All right, bye.